Hi guys, so this is today's quick and easy nail design, and of course I'm saying that as my son didn't let me finish my other hand, so it's still waiting, but um, it's just um, some zebra striping, some flowers, and some little buds and things um, on a pink uh, nail tip. And so what I used for the background color was the Salon Manicure by Sally Hansen in 419 Hidden Treasure is the very base color. Then I came in with this Milani uh, High Speed Fast Dry color in 04 Fast Fuchsia. And the nail art is done with these brushes all from Born Pretty Store. I don't have the links for you guys, but I had the small liner and then the flat shader and an angled brush. And then I'm just using some acrylic colors, whatever you'd like to use. I'm using a dark green and a light green for the leaves and the yeah, leaves, I guess. <laughs> and then I'm using um, a yellow and a white um, for the flowers. So if you are interested, please stay tuned and we'll get started. We'll add um, a coat of the Hidden Treasure. And I already have my base coat on, which is that Sally Hansen um, powerful acrylic gel. I love it. Very thin coat just to add some interest under the nail design, okay? That's so now it. That that's dried. I'm just going to come in and do the uh, side French. And of course you can do it across. You can do whatever you like. But anyway, I'm going to take that pink Milani color. Sorry, I keep putting my hand in the way there. And I'm just going to make it a little bit, not too deep, but just come straight across to the side to the other uh, tip of the nail, as you can see there. And then just color that in. And what's nice about this Milani color is that it takes one coat. So I'm going to do that with all the nails and let it dry. So all the nails and um, paint with that sideways French and they're all dried. So on some of the nails that I'm going to call the accent nails are going to be the thumb, middle, and pinky. All I'm going to do is come in with my white acrylic and I'm going to take my small liner and I'm going to attempt zebra. <laughs> you guys know I'm not the best at that, but I'm trying. So anyway, I'm going to take that and I'm going to kind of press down at the very edge and then as I bring it closer to the tip, just kind of lift it up so it's just nicer instead of it being um, a really tough or rough line, okay? So again, press down and just kind of let go as I get closer. So I'm fill okay, in. so sorry about that. <laughs> my son started yelling. Oh, he said sorry right now. Um, start filling it in. And I'm just going to have to turn my nail and I'm sorry it's going to be difficult for you guys to see. Well, I'll turn it this way and try and just do the same thing coming from this other angle, okay? And just kind of try to make it nice and loose at the end part there. So I'm going to do that again. And again, with this acrylic paint, if you don't like it, wash it off and do it again. Okay, so I'm going to continue adding little zebra stripes to um, all the nails and um, on the tips here of those okay, accent so nails. So I added that, and it's just going to be on those few nails. And now I'm going to come in with my... Um, my brush, the little angled brush, and I, I want the um, the yellow to be on the mid, in the inner part of the brush, where it kind of angles in because I want the white to be at the tip. So I'm going to dip the yellow on the, sh the shorter angle, and dip the white at the taller angle, and I'm just going to kind of blend them in together, just to get a lot of paint on the brush. Okay, and we'll go ahead and start with the nail art. So basically on all the nails I'm going to add the little flowers. It just, um, you know, some are going to have the zebra and some aren't. So I'm just going to hold it straight up and down. And I'm going to just go up and down, up and down, up and down, and then kind of bring it down at the very end. I know it's kind of hard to see, but sorry guys. So again, we're going to make, that's the first petal. So we're going to make another petal. Just up, down, up, down, up, down. Bring it in. Oops, I dipped <laughs> the white part in the yellow. Now this other side, I'm kind of turning the brush to the other side. And again, up, down, up, down. Bring it in. And some people like to outline their designs when they're done. I don't do that, but you can definitely do that if you like. Up, down, up, down, bring it in. And the last one, I'm just kind of angling it the other way and turning it a little bit in my nail and in my hand to swirl it. So hopefully you guys can see that. I know it's kind of difficult. And then I'm just going to add some little tiny um, buds, I guess. But what I'm going to do is just press down and bring it up. Okay? Just like that. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to put some leaves in there too, so it'll make it look a little bit different. Okay? So I'm just going to do that. So on the other nails, I'm just going to continue either making the flower or um, I just adding these little press and up okay, buttons. So I'm just going to some of the lighter green paint and the same liner that I used earlier for the zebra. I'm just going to get a little bit of that very lime green and just kind of 
on the very sides of these little guys just add a little a little um, I guess you would call it like a leaf but it's just a little more detail okay okay I'm just gonna do that to all of them I have a okay, few so others I'm take some dark green and some light green with my flat shader and I'm just gonna dip half and half on one side half on the other and these are just to make some leaves and it, it, you know, however you'd like, if you like the darker part of the leaf out or down, however you'd like to do this, I'm just going to, um, let's see, that's fine, I have the lighter color facing out, and I'm just going to go in between some of these petals and pull in a leaf there, okay? And all I did was kind of up and down, push to the side and pull up, okay? So I'm just going to add leaves here and there throughout the design. Okay, so I'm all done. And unfortunately, I still haven't been able to find my Sesh Meat, so I'm going to use my Essence Gel Look Top Coat. Still a nice top coat, it just takes a little bit longer to dry. And my son is not letting me finish my other hand, so that one's half done. But anyhow, I'm just going to take the top coat, and it always just makes the little flowers and everything you do with the acrylic paint pop really, really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, apply my top coat sealing in my design, and I hope you guys like today's quick and simple uh, design. Bye now.